Hello, Virgo, and welcome to Blunt Sagittarius. My name is Robin, and Virgo, today we're going to do your general love reading, baby. Let's talk about you in love, Virgo. Let's see what's going on, what's going down, what's coming down the chute. Let's see what you need to know about this. Here, guys, what up with Virgo in love? Ooh, we got seduction. Okay, attraction, flirting, hooking up, third party interference, temptation. Hmm, let's see what this means. Let's talk about this. Let's see what's going down. Wow, we got the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay. And Virgo, I want to say thank you to all of you for your kind words, your support, your healing vibes, your patience, your understanding. So thank you, guys. I believe in the power of thought and the power of healing. So thank you. Um, I might still be a little inconsistent with my posting, so I do apologize. For those of you who didn't get the posts, I uh, had some dental work done a couple weeks ago. And it went horribly wrong, and they damaged the jaw in my nerve. Or sorry, the nerve in my jaw. So my face went numb, and I just kind of lost use of my face there. Um, so I still have some specialist appointments. I'm still uh, making sure nothing is permanent and just making sure it was just temporary. But bear with me, guys, and thank you so much for your patience. I appreciate it. So we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Hold on, a card flipped here. Maybe it didn't. Nine of Swords in reverse. We have the Strength. Could be dealing with the Leo. We have the Fire Sign, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. We got the Hangman. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. We got the Wheel of Fortune, Sag. <laughs> you can be dealing with the Fire Sign here. A lot of fire, a lot of passionate. Three of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Four of Swords. And there's the Fool. There's definitely a leap of faith, a fresh start, a new beginning. Let's talk about this because the Nine of Swords is in reverse. So that's an energy of letting go of something. Um, let's see. What's this Nine of Swords in reverse here for, for Virgo? What is this energy here? Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're... I actually feel like you're letting go of a person. There might have been a third-party situation here, Virgo. I feel like you're letting go of a person from the past here. You're not thinking about it. You're just releasing it, letting it go. Um, I'm trying to move past that. But I kind of feel like that person's coming back here with the Three of Cups. So I let's talk about it. What's the strength in the Knight of Wands? It could have been a very in and out, very hot and cold. You could have been dealing with a player here who was, you know, it could very well have just been casual, FWB. Or they were messing around with four of pentacles. You're trying to release. They're coming back. What the hell's going on here, Virgo? Six of wands. They have regrets. I do believe there might have been a third party. Or I do believe it might have been something where it was just physical. And there wasn't um, a relationship or connection. And this person can't let you go. Six of wands and the six of cups. They're giving you a lot of thought, a lot of affection. You're the best they ever had. And they don't want to stop the naughty time with the Virgo. Um, they're stuck on you. Stuck on you like glue. I do feel you're single, and I feel they want to take this leap of faith and come towards you here. Here's the page of wands with the wheel of fortune, the three of pentacles, the sun. Damn, Virgo, what did you do to this person here? Because they cannot let you go. What do you want to say about this page of wands? What are they coming to say here? What are they coming to say? I mean, there could be an age difference. We do have, they want to turn their back on the past here. Hierophant. Well, you have tamed the player. <laughs> Virgo. I think this started off with something casual. It could have been something where there were multiple people. Um, they want to turn their back on that lifestyle here. They want a relationship. They want a connection. They can't get enough of you. They can't get enough of you. You are their destiny, the wheel of fortune. Things spinning in your favor, working out in your favor. I mean, hey, it feels good to tame the player because they only want to be with you and you and nobody else, baby. Um, so the three of pentacles in the sun is you make them happy and they've come to this realization um you know feelings have developed here and they want to work on this they want to change their ways and they want to progress forward but we have the four swords here so what is the yeah see i don't know if you trust them there's a six of pentacles there's the queen of cups that five of swords stay on the bottom you're trying to figure out your feelings so i feel you've kind of pulled your energy back here i don't think you're making a decision either way you're trying to figure out if you want to give to this. Maybe there's other people in your energy. You know, this was maybe just a friends with benefits, something casual. Uh, maybe it was just a one night stand. Um, or maybe you don't see them as relationship potential and you'd rather explore other options here. But they're willing. Yeah, see, they want to fight for this. They want this connection. You're trying to figure out how you feel. Um, you're trying to feel if they have potential. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Should you work on this? Or are they just, a you know, a good time and that was it? Virgo, that's what's up. That's what's going down. So <laughs> let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. And we'll get back to the tarot and we'll see what you decide to do and where you and this person are progressing in a month. So you guys, what does Virgo need to surrender to when it comes to this person here? What you want to say? The drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help to resolve the issue more quickly. Okay. And... The caring connection. What's the caring connection between Virgo 
And this playa, who has been tamed. Ah, cherish. Cherish your relationship. Okay. All right, well, let's get the hidden truth. They could say something that they're not saying. They want to say they should. Maybe they shouldn't, but you need to know, baby. Let's find out here. What is the hidden truth? I am not available. Well, damn. I mean, that's why they're a player. I knew exactly what I was doing. Hmm. And I want you. Hmm. Hmm. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Well, maybe you're right to doubt this. Maybe you're right to doubt this. Let's find out here. Here we go. Let's see where you guys are in a month. Let's get your potential outcome. You might have an emotionally unavailable person here who's developed feelings and they don't know what to do. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Where's Virgo? What does Virgo decide to do? Where are these two? Let's get our potential outcome. And how are they doing in a month, baby? Oh, we got the tower. We got the two. That's, yeah. I think this person was definitely not looking for something and they have fallen really hard for you here. Two of Wands. They're planning their motherfucking future with you here. Two more. Yeah, we got the Ten of Swords, though, completely sideways. Eight of Cups. Oh, you're about to break their heart. Nine of Swords in reverse. Here's the thing, Virgo. Uh, like I said, you tamed the player, but you don't trust this motherfucker. You don't. Um, I think they. I, I, I think you blew them away. I think you blew their world here. The Tower and the Two of Cups. They want a friendship. They want a bond. Maybe you're just going to say, let's stay friends here. I don't see potential. But when there's physical attraction or when you've been together intimately, that's very difficult. That does create love triangles in the future. But hey, if you guys think that that can work, then that can work. Uh, this person was playing their future with you. That's the thing. You walked away from this. You're going to break their heart. And I, and you know what? I guess it would be their karma for something that probably they've done in the past to someone else. The Nine of Swords in reverse is you're releasing this. You're not interested in this playa. You're not interested in this connection, but they are. So this was just a casual thing. This was just an FWB. You know who they are. You know that they're not available. Your intuition's telling you this. I see you walking away from this. Um, and I see you kind of breaking this person's heart. And um, I see them struggling quite a bit here and feeling quite hurt. But you release this. The Nine of Swords is in reverse. So you're not having this. It's a no from Virgo, dog. Uh, but what you need to know is this player, this, this casual thing, whatever it was that was happened between the two of you, they develop feelings, Virgo. And they want to progress this forward. But you didn't. Uh, you see them for who they are, and you're not really interested in, in, in taking that chance and taking this leap of faith with them. So you walk away from this connection, and you kind of break their heart here. <laughs> so that's what's up. Sorry, Crosswatcher, but um, Virgo's not interested. That's what I got, Virgo. So, Virgo, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It helps my channel to grow. Thank you. And again, thank you for your patience, your understanding, your healy words. I truly, truly appreciate that. Now let's close your reading off with a yes or no question. So guys, yes or no? What's the answer for Virgo here? Yes or no? The answer is yes. <laughs> the end of that. That's what I got, Virgo. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.